Hey, what is going on, guys? Rudinell here, coming back at you with another batch tutorial. Alright, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm a little tired, but hey, we're gonna push this batch tutorial right out of the way and move on for the next one because today we're working with some more arrays. Now, uh, in the last couple of videos, we've been working with arrays. We've been appending values on there. We've been counting to get, see how many occurrences of one index are in the array, that sort of thing. But now we're gonna actually go ahead and try and insert a value into an array at a certain position. And what this will do is it will overwrite. Um, the current value at any certain position, just shift everything to the right of it, actually farther to the right. So it'll increase the length and that sort of thing. It'll um, modify the new, the the initial array, and um, it's actually doing this by just sort of like recreating it. It's updating it by gathering what you had in the array to begin with, adding the new piece in f as a string, and then just passing that right back into the create array function and just sort of overwriting it. So it's a little, it's a little strange, it's a little awkward, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's one way to do it, and I guess that's all that matters. So I'm gonna go ahead and call mine array insert dot bat. So I'll save that. It can be add echo off, and the syntax is gonna of course be array insert with the array name. We'll need to pass in the delimiter, we'll need to pass in the value that we're going to update with, and we're going to actually put in a position as well. Now we don't have to have a return type because it's actually going to modify the array, but um, I guess that's really all we have to worry about. And actually, we're going to need to create some strings. So, value is the third argument that we pass to it, and delimiter is important too, so delimiter... That's number two. Okay. And the position, that's our fourth argument. And now we need to actually set up a new array value, or like a string that's going to actually keep track of the new array. And then we'll begin to loop, so we're going to need a limit. The limit can equal the value of our array length. So we're using percent sign one as our array, remember. And then the length after it's just getting the length, and we'll subtract one from it. And then we'll start to loop. So 4-L, G in 0, 1, limit. And here, all we really do is some tests. So if the current position is actually equal to the position that we're going to be adding this new value in, what we're going to actually do is set the new array to equal what we have of the new array so far, with the value in it along with the delimiter. So that works well for us. And actually, what we need to be doing right after that is always adding on the previous values. So we still have to test if the current position is equal to the limit. Because if it is, then we don't want to add the, the delimiter back onto it, but we still want to have everything else. So we can go ahead and set new array to equal the value of new array so far actually our what we have so far inside the array so the current position inside the array and we will be doing this for the other if it's not the end of the array we'll just have the delimiter tacked onto the end of it alright and then at the very end when we're done looping through it all we can go ahead and call create array with our array name, string form of the delimiter, and the value of our new array. All right. Now let's go ahead and um, oh, create a new script to actually work with this. I can do add echo off. Set local. Alright, now what we can do is go ahead and call create array. I'll call mine array and I'll have a space be my variable. And you start a delimiter here and it says, I am really tired. <laughs> How about that? And then we'll go ahead and call array insert. And we'll insert into array with our delimiter. And I want to say not. And that can be at position, let's say I want I am. Now I want it to overwrite this one here. So I am not really tired. How about that? 
So it would actually be two that we're going to be overriding. So let's try this in CMD. I'll drag it down. Show you guys script. And we'll obviously want to echo out our array. It says, I am not really tired. And we can echo out the array length. And that's five now, because there are five words in it. We can echo out array two, and it says not. <coughs> and everything else is still accessible. So this works well for us. But what if I actually tried to put it in at 0, 04, the last position? <coughs> echo, echo array, I am really tired. And if I put it in at 3, I am really not tired. So it won't put it in the end because we're not appending anything to it. So if I actually echo out array length, this will still work at 5 because there are 5 characters in it. But if you, it won't actually insert at the end, you have to use array append for that. So it will only insert to overwrite any other value that is not at the end and that sort of thing. But uh, there you go, guys. That's how it works. That's how we can manipulate it. Um, it's just simple, like reconstructing the array as needed. So I'm going to go ahead and put this inside of my system path. And wow, Explorer is ginormous. All right. Array insert. We can put it in our tools. We'll put it in um, C Windows System 32, plop it right in there, and uh, we're all done. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.